Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte's Adventure. It's seven days to die. Yeah, so what's happening today? I thought I hit that guy. There you go, that was one shot. How about like this? Are we aiming too high? Too low? Come on. I wish we could see. Like, can I stay zoomed in? No. I'm wasting arrows. Come on. Put your head up. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. So, what's the plan for today, folks? Well, today, since we are in the town here, I want to continue looting it. All right? We need to go through the the bookstore here at least, and then I want to kind of go through the the working stiffs place as well. So, yeah. So that's the plan. And then later, we're just gonna kind of head back to the home and spend the night there. Then we're just gonna kind of hang around that place to deal with the dog horde. And so yeah, so I do have on an almost full inventory, but we're going to run through this really quickly here. Hopefully we will be able to find some new stuff, like this thing. We'll be able to make some armor when we get back, which would be amazing. Ooh. Make, oh, we already have that, okay. And then we got zombies I think we gotta take care of. We'll have to kind of check that out. I'm just gonna use this iron axe that we found. Because why not? Let's see here. Gotta keep our ear open for zombies. Ooh, look at that. Some good stuff there. Um, empty. Yeah, empty jars. Oh, snap. I think we already have the blood draw kit. So I don't think we can do anything with it. If not, we'll find another one. Let's find a dandy. Sounds like a lot of zombies, hey? Ah, shoot. We'll leave that murky water in there. Got some wood there. Have some more murky water, which we'll leave in there. Because we can always come back and loot this stuff again, so it's not a big deal. Uh, let's see here. Oh, some coffee beans. That's fine. Ah, we have enough coffee beans back at home, so I'm just going to toss them. Oh, is that a container here? Yes. These things are containers too. Oh, right on. We can make gas cans now. Excellent, excellent. Ooh, refrigerators. I can't see nothing. Uh, let's see here. Let's wear this while we're inside. Ah, uh, there we go. That's a lot better. You can just dry. I think I need to make a run back to our base. No, oh, no. There we go. How about this one? Perfect. Uh, we got cabinets here again. Any kind of grub in here? Or just, like, absolutely nothing. We do need to get our scavenging up, so that's what this will do as well. So, there's also... Uh, where is there any more cabinets? Is this the back room here? Is there more? Is there an office in here? Um, oh yeah, that's right. This would be the office. And if we switch... Oh. Oh. That doesn't sound too good. Sounds like a screamer. If it is, it's no big deal. We can run away. That means we'll, we shall depart from this place. But I think it's the regular zombie. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hi! Bang! Bang, bang, bang! Woo! Still trying to get used to the, the field of view, because I used to have a higher field of view to where it, it all looked more natural to me, but I don't know. This field of view is a rather odd, and I find the distance 
from? Like the distance from the zombies? Not enough anymore. I think they did some tweaking, but yeah, that's fine. Let's see here. Okay, so we do want to hit working stiffs, right? So we kind of broke into that back area there. So there'll be no more books there. Working stiffs should have some sort of tools maybe or some schematics more schematics maybe some more feathers because we like to use the bow okay let's just break in ah, this sucks having a full inventory almost want to go to the drop-off chest that we built let's see here but we do need to head back to the base anyway so these boxes we can smash on or bang anything interesting in here who look at that oh an anvil I think we already have an anvil hard metal door oh, that's some that's some cool stuff some cool stuff Let's see if there's anything in here nope Good garbage no nope. uh, how about this thing there should be more boxes in here there's this one gonna just crouch down so that way zombies don't hear me and we're just gonna pound away oh look at this more sledgehammers another garden hoe <laughs> I'm just looting these just to see what they are because I thought you'd get schematics out of these but maybe not I know you used to but I might as well just loot them anyways so that way the timer can start operating on them there's more boxes in the back as well in here so it's oop. We need to switch some tools around here okay let's break in here and see what we have and then we got wood I think and then back to metal yeah and then back to metal it's probably almost easier to break through the wall but oh here we are Okay, excellent. Smash this up. Anything good in here? Nah. How about this one? So look at that, 50 points for each hit. That's pretty good for iron. Uh, nothing in there. We're doing good for food. I think it said 50% there, so that's alright. There's a safe in here, that's exciting. We'll definitely have to break into that at some point. Oh yes, calipers. We need this. We need this. So, I'm going to take the calipers and replace it with the bullet casings. And these, I'm actually just going to scrap. This might be sacrilege. Oh no, I didn't scrap all of them. Oh well. Maybe I shouldn't have scrapped them. <laughs> oh well. We can always make them. It's not a big deal. And is there any room for duct tape? No, it just will use up that slot anyways. But the calipers we definitely need. That's one of the tools that go in the forges, which is, yeah, exciting times. And then hopefully we can find the toolbox in here or whatever. Uh, okay. That's awesome. Rebar frame. That would be useful. Not sure when it will be useful for me, but. Oh, yes. Yeah. Screw the, duck, the glue. We don't need the glue. And then we got an anvil there, which we can turn into iron. That will make a lot of iron. So yeah, definitely we're gonna have to pick up all of this crap here. So I am I tell you what, I'm gonna make a trip back to our base. And I'll meet you back in there so we can install the new stuff that we found. Oh, that's so exciting, it's so exciting. Oh man. You know, the reason I find it exciting is just because it's just yeah, it's just so cool. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. That means we've got a complete foraging system, right? So I think going back home, it's directly that way. We'll just kind of go straight and see where this leads. And yeah, and so if anything exciting occurs, like killing this pig here. Oh yeah, we hit him. Nice. Come on. Wow. 
coming up to you. Oh. Come on, bro. Come on. Don't fall. Woo. 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 Oh man, oh man. They're just precariously hanging here. Oh, come on. Yeah. Lucha. Give me your your fertile pigness. Yes. <laughs> this is gonna fall on me? Watch it cause damage. Oh baby. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Exciting times, folks. I was gonna stop recording, but I figured ah let's go after the pig, see what happens. Okay. So I think this is in the direction of home, which it is. Hello zombie. I'm just gonna run straight there. Not gonna loot anything. I'm gonna look what there is to loot, of course, but same note, it doesn't matter. So yeah, so I will meet you all at our forge. Hello zombie. Ah, uh, here we are folks. Home sweet home. As soon as you see those trees, you know you're home. Okay. So we need to remove this structure at some point. That's kind of in the way. We do need to... Oh man, we need to upgrade. We need to put wood frames up. So much work for... For day 18, when it's dog horde day. So that way we can kind of hang around the base. And then... Did I hit that pig? Hmm. Ah. I, was thought, I thought about going after it, but... I think we will quickly retire in here. I'm going to drop off everything. Okay, I need to fix that hole there too. That's a, <laughs> it's a little design flaw. But right now it works. It tricks the AI. So here we go, folks. Let's install this new stuff. So we need calipers, which we have right here. Drag that bad boy in there. And we have the tool and die set. Bang, okay, so now everything that we could ever make is now located in here. The rocket tip, rocket casing, steel arrowheads, because you need these for that. Oh, this is exciting. So we can kind of look through here and see what we're able to build and what we're not, and yada yada yada. So that's exciting. Okay, okay, okay. So we got that installed. That's nice and comfortable there. Let's throw the gun parts in here. Let's throw gun parts in here. Yeah, I don't really care. Bang, bang, bang. Rocket launcher stock. Technically, what I think you should do is I think we can do this with enough of these pieces. Is you can go like AK-47 receiver. Go assemble. All right, and I think we can go AK-47 stock. This is better stock, actually. Yeah, and see, so here we have an assault rifle that's partially assembled, All right? And you can do the same thing with this kind of stuff. So rocket launcher stock, go assemble. You see the rocket launcher? Go rocket launcher receiver like that, and now it creates this little object. And then we can just go close on that, and voila! All right, now we have a rocket launcher in progress, which we can move right here. And then we have an AK 47 in progress as well. And we're actually going to keep these parts, gonna kind of put that one there. We got the pistol here. And a hunting rifle, which we don't have yet. Shotgun. We, I will make a sawed-off shotgun, because why not? Hunting rifle receiver. And then this is the magnum frame. Yeah, these aren't in any particular order. I'm just kind of checking them out, right? The 10 millimeter would be with the submachine gun, which we don't have yet. 9 millimeters will be for this guy. Let's throw these in here. Yeah, so I'm just going to do a bunch of inventory management. And yes, yeah, so now you see all the parts that we have, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now here we are. I'm going to make some more iron armor. Going to make some iron boots. And we're going to make some iron leg armor. 
because that's what we need, right? And once that gets crafted up, I think that is about it. I think we have everything other than the shirt, the pants, um, and of course the overcoat. Um, this we, do, we won't really need necessarily unless this cools us down too much. So if we, if we cool off too much, then I'm not sure what will happen. Maybe we'll remove some of these this clothing that we have. And let's see, what else, what else, what else? Can we repair this? No, we can't repair this. We need schematics for that. And what time of the day is it? It is, oh, it's actually only five o'clock. Okay, so let's do that. I'm gonna run outside here, maybe kind of do a little bit of loot run here and then we'll call it an episode at nightfall here. So actually, you know what? Uh, <laughs> I should do this actually. Instead of doing that, we should be grabbing this, should be grabbing the wood frames. Because what we need to do is we need to start putting wood frames on the exterior of the structure. And that will be just temporary, but we need to start putting them all the way around like, you know, exactly like this. Exactly like this. And go all the way around, bang. So we need to pick up some more wood. So I think we're gonna chop those trees down in the back here. So let's switch to our steel fire axe. Uh, I hit the F, but I'm not wearing the mining helmet. So let's wear that. There we go, we can see better. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna chop down these two trees here because we don't need them anymore and you only get 500 for them so they're the bad trees we only want the pine trees those are the only ones that matter if you got like apples out of these or if you got some other good materials then that'd be another story but unfortunately we only get a little bit of wood so just gonna chop down this tree we're, of course we're getting more seeds. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, wear those. Wear those. Awesome. Armor is nice. Let's take a look. Look, see, there we go. We have complete armor, but that doesn't look like the textures in the right place. <laughs> uh, it's whatever. That's hilarious. That's so that's what happens with alphas, right? <laughs> Exactly that. Let's check those potatoes too. That could be something we do as well. Uh, that's which way is that gonna fall? How are the potatoes? Oh, the potatoes are done. Excellent. And I think we just need to do ten of these. Yeah, I think we, we can do ten of them because we just need to replace. How oh, cool! We can do meat stew maybe. We got coffee beans here. Those aren't really as important. We got lots of coffee. So, and let's make some wood spikes here. Spikes. Let's just make a good 200. Yeah, let's do that. Let's collect more wood. And yeah, so that's it, folks. You know, so this is this is seven days to die. This is you know, we're we're finishing day 17. When it hits nighttime, I'm gonna do some kind of some interior stuff there. And all I'm gonna be doing at the moment is reinforcing the wood spikes on the outside here, like so. And we also need to make sure we put these wood frames up, but I think they can be done from the inside as well. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, so so thank you everybody for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this kind of short episode. Been doing short ones lately because just the timing of everything and just the way the family goes. Not that you care, but <laughs> if you do, hey, that's great. You know, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching all the way through. You know, it's very, it's appreciative. Ooh, look at that tree. Hopefully that doesn't kill me. It's very appreciative that you you take the time and the effort. You know, to watch the videos. Even if you just have them on in the background or whatever, that's fine too. <laughs> At least they're being watched. <laughs> so yeah. So thank you everybody. And 
I'll hopefully see you all in the next episode. And yeah, until then, bye-bye.